today we are going to watch how we can install and configure Jenkins server on our Ubuntu VM so these are the steps we are going to follow first we are going to create one EC2 launch EC2 instance then we are going to update the system then we are going to install the Java JRE so that uh, it is required it is required to install this Jenkins okay fourth we need to run this command like we are installing a package you can see we are adding this to the Jenkins dot list and after that we have to re-update so that it will download all the required plugins and the libraries dependencies then after that we are ready to go we can install Jenkins so let's start let's start by launching one instance so as per the requirement we are going to launch one uh, Ubuntu VM so see this is the Ubuntu VM okay so this is t2 tire t2 micro is enough storage is going to storage going to security group this currently i'm setting is for all traffic anywhere and launch so i'm choosing one of my previous keys instead of creating a new one so let's wait until it comes up so you can see our vm is right now in running condition let's rename it something jenkins okay so now i'm going to log into the system here is my booty i'm pasting the ip address going to the ssh here is my authentication key okay let's change the color so that it will be more clear visible to you Mm -hmm. Okay. Once this is up, now you have to log into your server. Okay, this is done. Now our first task is complete. Launched, easy to launch. Now we have to update, then we have to install this default JRE. So here we go. First, be a sudo user so that you can update your system. Okay, now update, update. Yes. You can see it is asking. Okay, so wait until this get updated. Now that is updation is done. Now it's time to install the Java JDK. So let's do it. apt install default. JRE hyphen Y so that it will not pop up yes or no. So let's wait, it will take some time. So let's wait until it's done. So it's completed now. Let's check the Java version. Okay, so this is my Java open JDK version. For that, for you, this may be different. So, what is our list? Uh, third command we have to run this to. Okay. I will put it into the description of this video so that you will not get any issue. So this is done. Now moving forward to the Debian library, which we have to. This is a script I have written so that it will paint there. Okay, so this is done. After that, what we have to re-update the. Okay, so here we go. So you can see it is working on that only. So our last step is what that is done. So next re-update is done. Now we can ready to go. We can install Jenkins. Apt gate install NS and why it will take a long time. So let's wait for a second. Or let's go for a short break until it comes up. So here we go. So now let's see the status of the Jenkins service. Jenkins. Okay. Jenkins. So Jenkins status. Okay. So it is in running condition. So let's come out. Let's take the IP. Let's paste here. Along with that, by default, you have to put 8080 on which it is already running. So let, let's wait for a moment so you can see you will get a form like this now which it will ask you for the administrator password over that you can see there is a path 
just copy it and go to your Jenkins server cat let's display that this is my password of the Jenkins server let's copy this and provide here let's go to the next part so now you have to go for install suggested plugin just click on that and wait for a moment so it started now here moving forward to the user panel this is my first admin user which is which i'm adding to perform operation let's set some password okay 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 put some random email address if you have so you can see here you are getting this this jenkins url this is similar to this you can see just save and finish start using jenkins So here you can see you have this Jenkins dashboard in the next video we will see how we can auth add a webhook so that it will integrate Jenkins dashboard will be integrated with your github along with that we will see how we can add pipelines in Jenkins either by scriptive declarative or freestyle method. Thank